So I decided to make an uh, upgrade for my Lenovo Legion Go storage and I will go with a 2TB uh, SSD, it's a double-sided 2TB uh, uh, PCI Express M.2 um, 2242 SSD, it's a uh, PCI Express Generation 3 by 4 and um, let's let's go with it and let's uh, let's insert it. This is it, this is how it looks. So um, I will use something like this and I will put it like this here and we have to open as far as I saw, there is uh, six screws. Now to open this, you will need something um, from plastic. I'm using something uh, like this, a card, and it's a bit polished here on a, on a corner to be, um, to be sharper, basically. So I will insert it here and you will hear a click. And basically this is it. Once you are finished, just remove this back plate and this is it. We have now we have to uh, to disconnect the battery. This is where the SSD is located. We have to remove uh, the power here from the battery for the battery. This is the cable basically. So what I did to remove the cable here, first of all, I uh, I uh, took this adhesive a bit li like this, at least this uh, this worked for me. And after that with my finger I, I pressed li like this and here it is, it's, it's out, this is it. Now we don't have um, the battery connected and we can move to the SSD, the SSD is in this area. So now we have to remove the, this sticker like this, put it here on the side and here is the SSD. Let's see, yes we have one screw here and this is the SSD. Now you can gently uh, take it like this. and you can remove it. It has um, this sticker on it, it's for uh, for uh, heating basically, it will help with uh, this. Some of, um, some of uh, the reviews are saying that you can remove this uh, sticker. I will use instead something uh, li like this. A thermal pad. I tried. I tried to get um, a good one. This is it. So, uh, with very careful actions, I managed to open uh, basically uh, this band from uh, the old SSD, something uh, like this, and um, this is it. I, I can uh, I can reuse it with uh, with my own SSD because I believe it will protect the board here from from heat with um, this. So uh, this is what I have. Something like this. We have to put it here. it will look something like this. I will use also here this 
So uh, this is basically my uh, two terabyte uh, SSD, the new SSD. This is uh, the older one from Lenovo. And this is how it looks after um, I put back that adhesive, the original adhesive, and I put uh, some um, uh, some uh, um, heating, uh, some cooling uh, pad, uh, thermal pad uh, on it. Uh, this is it. Now let's try to put back the SSD here and let's see how it fits because now it definitely uh, it's bigger because it's double sided. So it fits here without problem. Look, this is it. Uh, it's a bit of a tension moment. I have some emotions uh, related to, to this aspect. I really hope everything to, to be fine. And now we have to put here back the battery and I will give it a start. So make sure that you um, you put here very good um, the power cable. Press it like this. Make some checks. Make sure that everything is fine. Put back the adhesive. And let's give it a try. And let's see. Let's put back those screws here. So as I said, I have here on this memory stick, I have the recovery file uh, already created uh, from Lenovo website. And uh, I pressed the volume up and on off uh, button with uh, the cable uh, connected and you will go basically to this, uh, to this screen. Here um, you have to, to, make, uh, to make the setup. Uh, after you start the um, restore process, you will see for a few minutes uh, a window uh, li like this one. Uh, you have to wait in this uh, in this way um, the the backup it's basically uh, uh, restored and uh, you don't have to start with a fresh windows and to lose your license probably um, anyway go to Lenovo Lenovo website create a uh, USB tool um, um, a bootable um, USB drive and it's very simple to restore your device. Um, in case of Asus ROG Ally, you know, you had to use the cloud service. It was almost fine, but it had some um, errors. Um, anyway, uh, here also, when you download uh, the backup, you have to try and retry. And after all, uh, in the end, you will, uh, you will manage to, to download the entire firmware. Um, but once you have it on your uh, on your USB flash drive, it's very simple to um, to use it here. You don't have to do anything. Basically, you just insert it, press restore, and that's it. Um, I will show you immediately uh, the new SSD. And finally, here it is. Uh, the entire process it's uh, it's ready. You will have to wait uh, indeed um, some uh, some minutes until uh, the Windows. Um, will restore everything but after that this is it one 1.8 uh, terabytes um, the two terabytes uh, SSD it's available here for uh, for my device and um, now um, 
all I have to do is to wait for the updates here to be installed and uh, to, to install all the drivers and I will do some uh, I'll do a test with this new SSD so here I have the SSD available in uh, Lenovo Legion Go the 512 gigabytes it's an uh, PCI Express 4 NVMI SSD and basically this is what you should expect as speed um, so finally I made uh, the upgrade for the Sabrent 2TB SSD here on um, Lenovo Legion Go. Now let's press here and let's see some speed tests. As you know, uh, this is the Lenovo Legion Go original SSD, 512GB, it's a PCI Express Generation 4, that means it's faster than this one. This is PCI Express Generation 3. So now let's see the speeds. Wow, very good for reading, 2400 megabytes. When I got this one, I knew that is PCI Express Generation 3 and I was made, I decided to make this compromise um, related to price, you know. Um, but hey, this is fantastic for, to have for readings, 2400 um, megabytes is fantastic. Um, I know the, the writing uh, will be slower, it's normal, uh, but hey, this is it. Wow, this is very good. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, 1,844 megabytes for uh, for writings. Um, okay, okay, very very interesting. Um, so as I said, um, this two terabyte um, SSD, it's a PCI Express Generation three, and it's normal to have slower speeds than this one, which is. PCI Express Generation 4, but you will never use the real speeds, not even these ones. Um, if you use, for example, a micro SD card, you will get uh, very slow speeds and still you are able to use uh, SD cards and to play games, AAA games. Um, anyway, uh, for me, this is fantastic. I don't know how reliable is this brand. It's my first product um, that I'm trying. Still, I decided to pay for it and to try it here for uh, for my device. Before this, as you know, I uh, used in uh, my uh, Asus ROG Ally this one, and it was uh, a good one. Uh, this one is PCI Express Generation 4, by the way. Um, anyway, these are the speeds. They will um, they will not always be the same. It depends uh, of the load, of the data, the uh, how small or big are the files anyway definitely uh, the original SSD is the fastest SSD if you want super fast speeds this is it uh, the Lenovo SSD which is PCI Express 4 but if you want a huge storage th then you should upgrade to one terabyte or two terabytes um, again I repeat this is a double-sided uh, SSD I don't know how reliable reliable is I'm I'm eager to, to find out uh, here on device and I hope it will stay here without getting damaged but this is uh, this is huge you know to have um, to have two terabytes internal storage as SSD in fact a 1.86 if uh, if I add a 1 terabyte micro SD card or if I get that 1.5 terabytes um, from um, SanDisk uh, they released the, um, recently that 1.5 terabyte um, S, uh, micro SD card imagine that I will have more than 3 uh, terabytes storage on my device that's enough for a lot of games and that is impressive so uh, this is what you should expect from um, uh, Sabrent uh, M.2 2242 SSD PCI Express Generation 3 these are the speeds I will keep um, uh, I will keep you updated uh, related to quality how the device works and feels with games I'm curious to find out um, for myself those aspects this is it.